Hi Capricorn, hope you're well. So this is your single spread. Um, we'll do two readings here. Well, first one will focus more so on your energy um, and then we'll look at your uh, next love partner, their profession, their physical characteristics, who they are as a person, first impressions, that sort of thing. Um, but let's start with how you present yourself to the opposite sex or same sex or how you're perceived. So we have Ten of Wands, King of Cups, King of Swords, a very matter of fact, um, quite emotionally and intellectually, very intelligent, um, but also someone who's quite hardworking. Um, you can come across as someone who's a very busy and you have a lot on your shoulders. So perhaps you look, you appear to be um, not as interested, um, a bit of a aloof exterior, a detached energy coming from you, and also someone who uh, holds back a lot. Though someone of that you are showing up as the two kings, so um, you do have a strong um, first impression on potential suitors. Um, they see you as someone who has a wise um, wise persona but someone who has a good head on their shoulders someone who doesn't like to waste their time and also someone who's trustworthy and someone of integrity is what I'm getting so overall beautiful first impression um, what are your positive traits as a lover we have five of swords clarified by the king of pentacles uh, ten of pentacles nine of swords um, I think you provide a lot of security um, to your love partners. They feel very safe and secure with you, um, quite comfortable. And they know that you, you um, can handle your own. Uh, you're not someone who's uh, codependent or dependent on other people, which is beautiful. Um, but Ten of Pentacles is also someone... King of Pentacles is actually one of the best kings to get for a long-term uh, partner so i think your love partners appreciate that when you um give your loyalties to someone you uh, you really follow through um any you don't make commitments easily but when you do you don't give up on others and you really um relieve that anxiety of your partners they know that you won't be going anywhere and you're not someone who's a very mature energy coming from you if there's arguments um ego clashes i think you're someone who really likes to talk through those you're not someone with a temper very level-headed um with that king of pentacles beautiful energy so far what makes you hard to love so we have four of swords ten of swords tower um sometimes you Perhaps when there's a chaos or instability around you, you detach. Um, you're someone who likes to walk away or not deal with things. That is a possibility. Because Four of Swords is energy that is calm, peaceful, someone who doesn't really like to rock the boat. Um, that is a possibility but another issue i'm getting is there's some past trauma or breakups uh, still in your energy that need to be healed um, because how you can overcome this we have three of swords two of cups queen of pentacles um so if you this ten of swords is also negative thinking so it could be that you overthink um and that you create scenarios in your head with the tower, worst case scenarios, but it's telling you to trust more in your advice here. And you do have someone that will be on a similar wavelength as you with that two of cups, queen of pentacles. We actually have two pairs here with that king and queen of pentacles, but we also have the king and queen of swords here. What kind of men or women you attract? We have ace of wands, ace of cups, knight of cups. So you attract people with a lot of potential, but this sometimes I think you can attract flings to you or people that are here one minute and they're and they they're gone just as fast as they entered your life. But I think you attract a lot of relationships that seem to have the potential to be long term, but 
then end up being very short term is what I'm getting and also very sexually and emotionally charged um, connections you attract um, people that flatter you but they have hidden agendas is a possibility now this is interesting because what you need to attract in a partner we have a lot of blue here we have six of swords queen of swords magician hierophant if you look at these colors we have a lot of warm bright um, but what you need is someone who operates more so from their, their logic um, someone who's very trustworthy but not an emotional fool someone who is stable steady um, intellectually but also someone who's intelligent magician and queen of swords can really cut through any illusions and hierophant is someone who's uh, of high morals um traditional but also someone who believes in marriage and long-term commitments very faithful energy and magician is someone who's quite capable of accomplishing whatever they put their mind to so that is what you need when you may meet a potential love partner we have seven of wands death page of pentacles so this can be um seven to twelve months but what i'm getting is there's a need um to be more open so really don't be so guarded that you miss opportunities because there will be someone coming with that page of pentacles um you can meet through um, practical matters so work school um wh wherever you're learning something new is where you may meet is what i have but let's look more into this person who they are let's start with i'll get a chinese um zodiac card for their personality and then we'll work from there We have the pig 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 so that is yin water a dependable and sociable team player pig makes a good leader or lover cultured and sensitive pig likes stability leaving this animal vulnerable and insecure at times loves creature comforts and a cozy home pigs easygoing nature is often taken advantage of but this animal can also display the aggression of a boar so yes you're attracting someone who's very home body um, dependable similar to the king of pentacles energy beautiful but let's get more into their about their personality who wow this person's been through it this could be a scorpio i think this person has been backstabbed and cheated on as well they've really been through a lot yeah Yeah. Okay, I see what's going. <laughs> this can be a water sign. Strong Scorpio here, but also Cancer Pisces. This person's looking for you with that Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. They want um, um, that completion, that victory, the happily ever after. But their past is very rough. I see a lot of battles here. Um, third party situations heartbreak um, just chaos in their life um, this person is trying to um, stabilize their emotions they're they're showing up as the king of cups so that's someone who's emotionally available very compassionate but this is not someone who's an emotional fool they've really learned from their past experiences this is this person may have a lot of friends but it, they love um, going out, having fun, very friendly vibes coming from them. 
at times they can be a bit jealous possessive that scorpio energy coming through but it's it's telling a story here they're they're looking for the one a stable committed long-term partner um queen of pentacles is capricorn taurus virgo so yes i'm seeing a very unstable past for this individual though um let's see more um let's see what they expect from a lover partner what they want um first impression profession what they do for a living perhaps what they look like physical characteristics and potential outcome okay let's see capricorn singles I want to see, will the attraction between Capricorn singles and their new person be instant? No. Why is that? Again, I'm getting, okay. There will be an opportunity presented to you, Capricorn, but in really i i see some healing that needs to be done on both of your parts so i can't really pinpoint maybe when we get the first impression i can but i think this will take a while though yeah this there this will take time for you to build trust um in each other but it'll be a slow moving connection one of you won't see the opportunity right away perhaps oh, queen of wands is sometimes is you're very self-focused, so your attention lies elsewhere on yourself or your goals, your passions. What will this person's first impression of Capricorn singles be when they first lay eyes on them? <laughs> that was how the potential suitors were viewing you as well. It's you. Um, Capricorn, I think that's it's showing up as disinterested. This person's a bit, they will be intimidated by you and also they'll think you're not interested in them. It's a very cold, detached, um, I will cut your throat off if you don't say the wrong thing to me, that type of energy, but very hardworking. This could be a um, um, work situation. But you have a lot on your plate wherever they're viewing you. Those ten of wands signify someone who has burdens, but uh, they have a lot of responsibilities. What will your first impression of this person be? Very generous, open, someone who wants to give to you, whether that's um, some sort of help to you to ease this burden. If this is school work, this could be a, yeah, very communicative. Now this person's beautiful. This is, they're offering you this cup. And you're not seeing it or you're not interested. Your focus lies elsewhere. With someone as a person, they're quite, they're secretive. It's getting strong, Scorpio, in this person's energy. Yeah. They'll see an opportunity with you right away. This Eight of Wands is sometimes love at first sight or instant attraction. But I think you will... Um, how will you feel um, when you first meet this new person? Why? Yeah, you're you're not trusting this you're not feeling much you're not seeing an opportunity here i think you'll you will be open to friendship 
but uh, I don't think you're why is death here though death can sometimes be someone not yeah you're not you're not thinking um, you're not seeing this person as a potential suitor you're not how will they feel when they meet you for the first time Yeah, they're <laughs> they they're very sexually attracted to you. The bottom of the deck, Empress. They'll they'll be patient with you, but you, I think, you will take time to open up to them. But there's this strong, fiery, passionate feelings where I think they will be the one that's pursuing you. Because this is a pair here. I think they see that this can get go somewhere. Uh, let's get more. Um, did we ask, what does this person want from a love partner? What do they want from a potential love partner? Exactly what you are appearing to be. <laughs> uh, They want someone who can build a stable family with them. Um, someone who doesn't give up easily and someone they don't have to fight for their attention is what I'm getting. Someone who's not swayed easily by their passions, very logical, intelligent. That's why they're instantly drawn towards you. They really like your logical approach. That aloof exterior they'll, makes them want to chase you in a way, is what I'm getting. Capricorn. Um, physical characteristics. If we can get any, we'll try. Soft features. But we have blonde and brown hair in this image. Brown hair again. Yeah, this is two extremes, brown and blonde hair. Quite active, agile, fast in their movements. Yeah, I think brown hair. This person is a physically fit though. Knight of Swords is, doesn't like to sit for too long. He's very action oriented. Yeah, brown hair. Light or dark brown hair is what I'm getting. Someone very well dressed though. Smells nice. Um quite fashionable but you might see them as a bit standoffish although they're they're very attracted to you but this is someone who's this talks about physical strength too because he is fighting off these um six other ones so someone can who can really hold their own but let's try to get more physical characteristics this person's tall though Someone who's shy, introverted, it's saying. Yeah, very, this can be a Pisces as well, I'm getting. Very compassionate. Very balanced. Okay, yeah, that makes sense with the Two of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. So it could be very symmetrical physical features. And then we have a young woman. 
So we have possibly dark hair, regardless if it's a man or woman. We'll look at the physical characteristics. Um, possibly dark haired, who isn't afraid to speak their mind. Very independent, goal oriented, and likes to feel in control, loves outdoor activity. So yeah, quiet reflection. Um, this is someone who's physically strong, but they don't really, they like to remain in the background. Um, with deception, I'm not getting that they're deceptive as a person, but I think they really like to hide. Not someone who likes a lot of attention is what I'm getting. Quiet reflection. Take the time to meditate and go within. Still your mind and listen closely to what you hear. Trust your inner voice. Yeah, very withdrawn energy. But a well-dressed person is what we're getting. We had two of cups and balance. I just see someone who's well put together. That's all I'm getting. Capricorn. Um, what? Um, perhaps their profession. What do they do for a living? This person's self-employed. They don't work for someone. They could be an entrepreneur. Are there like a CEO, a head of a company? A lot of responsibilities I'm getting. Hmm. This is only telling us that they're, they're, they're either a boss or entrepreneur or something. But they have perhaps more than one income. That two of pentacles, they have a lot going on. But very financially successful. You know, it's not telling us much. We have hardworking, skilled with his hands. He's physically active, loves being outdoors, and is very considerate and trustworthy. So perhaps they use their body in their profession. We have let your guard down. Take down the barriers you have built around your heart. It's time to trust yourself and others. They could be a little security guard of some sort. Something to do with security, but with focus, slow and steady. So whatever wealth they've built for themselves, they're very um, diligent, hardworking, someone who's quite patient. But we also have keep going and focus on your priorities. You are spreading yourself too thin. Focus on what is a priority right now and you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. tunnel. You're making progress. So yeah, perhaps they have too much going at once and they really need to narrow down their focus. And we have don't stop now as success is just around the corner. You will soon start to see the results of your commitment and consistent hard work. Very hardworking individual. But whatever their profession is, they're very um, content and they are making a decent living with that nine of pentacles. This is someone who can, um, they have, they can pay their own bills. They drive their own car. They have the good things in life. They're, and they're happy, content where they are at. Um, potential outcome between you both. Let's get that. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. One of the best outcomes. Yes. Wow. Okay. Um, there's a need. There's a heads up. Okay. Um, 
there's a need for open communication. This is heading, will head in a beautiful direction. Um, a lot of uh, friendship, good times, dinner dates, so working, collaborating together. If this is a work association, beautiful. You, you really light, light up each other's life. There's strong sexual, physical attraction. I was seeing that perhaps you are not as interested, but once you get to know them, they uh, you will be very, very emotionally fulfilled with this individual. Um, they, they really make you happy, but there is a need not to hide things from one another. Because Ace of Swords and Page of Wands talks about communication, but also clarity of mind. So yes, do really work on your um, communication skills and uh, build that trust. And it's it's almost uh, don't fall into past patterns if you have a, a habit of hiding uh, your emotions the moon can sometimes internalize everything they're feeling um, really try to break that i'm not saying you all have this issue but um, if you do it's you need to be more vocal and ace of swords is also someone who's blunt um, if something bothers them they'll say it straight out a very straightforward energy they cut right to the core of the issue so yes be very straightforward um, tell this person what you want and need from a partner um, and encourage them to do the same but this is beautiful i don't i want why is like a marriage possibility some people want marriage Yeah, definitely, if you um, want a marriage, uh, this person, you both will be highly protective over each other, but yes, um, the crossroads is usually you have options, it's if you want to get married, you can, um, you can manifest that for sure, but beautiful outcome so far, so Yes, that is all I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully this was fun for you. It was for me. I love these readings. But take care of yourself and I'll see you later. Bye.